at the end of this video you would know what you need to have before you go and click on that link and start filling out the visa application you will set yourself up for success in filling out the application by having these things ready so don't go anywhere <laughs> Welcome to Winnie Student World. I am your girl Winnie and today we are going to talk about what you need before you start your visa application process to study in the United States. So come on in, let's chat. Okay, the first thing you want to have is your I-20. Mm -hmm. Your I-20 is a very important document. It is what makes you a student in the US. In fact, there is a number called a service number on the I-20 that you need to even put into your visa application. Now, on the screen right now, you can see a video of the I-20 and what it looks like. This link to this you know, sample I-20 form is available in the description box below. So you can go and click on it and download it and know what to expect when you get your own I-20. This I-20 has to clearly state the school that you're going to, the program that you'll be you know, studying in that school or the course you'll be studying in that school. It also has to clearly state where financial support is coming from, who is paying for the financial support, like what part is scholarship, what part is coming from you know, a family member or a relative or you know whoever it needs to clearly state those things and it also before you go to the embassy needs to have your signature if you are above 18 if you're under 18 it needs to have your signature and that of a parent or a guardian and i-20 is very important in fact like i said you need the service number on your i-20 to complete your visa application while you can start the visa application before you get it you can't complete it before you get it so you need your i-20 the next thing you do need to have as you're starting the visa application process is your offer of admission letter from the school very important you will take that to the embassy and so it is one of the things you need to get from the school you know they can either email it or mail it to you regardless of how it comes you need to have that letter from the school now when an offer letter could be either emailed or mailed i20 typically um, the embassy prefers that it is hard copy mailed from the school now due to the pandemic some you know countries the u.s embassy there was accepting emailed i20s or scanned i20 i don't know how long that will be in effect for but the standard is to have the i20 mail to you hard copy the next thing you want to have is your proof of funding especially if the school is going to give you a scholarship you want it stated on paper and signed that they're giving you x amount of money for how long they're going to give it to you because again it is something that would come up during your visa interview process and you want to make sure you have this in hand before you go to the embassy also of course your parents bank statements as needed you also want to have that the next thing you do need to have done is your service fee very important that is the fee you pay to the department of homeland security as an international student before you go to the embassy in fact if you go to the embassy they would ask to see that now if you pay that ahead of time it can reflect on their system you should also take a receipt with you because sometimes if it doesn't show up on their system you can show them the receipt that you have paid now currently you cannot pay this fee from some countries so there are some countries that you can pay the fee from without any issue for some other countries like nigeria you need somebody who is in the u.s to help you pay your service fee that's one of the things we help international students with at winnie student world so reach out to us if you need help with getting your service fee paid now these are the basic basic things that you need to have right that would make sure your student status is covered before you go to the embassy there are also other documents that you need to have with you i have included this in the video of how to show proof of strong ties that would help you show strong ties to your family but as a student these are the basic things that you need to have these are the things that before you show up before the consular officer you need to have all these things ready and done tell me what you learned from this video tell me if you have any questions tell me if you want to add anything we are a community nobody owns you know nobody has a monopoly over information and so we learn from each other we grow with each other so if you have anything to add to this video please put it in the comment section and until i come your way again make sure you follow us on instagram facebook twitter 
you know follow us or subscribe to us on youtube join our mailing list right i want to see you everywhere all right talk to you again soon